How's it going, guys? This is Eric with the Range Survival. Ooh. And I got one thing to say. You gotta enjoy the hammock life. Just need two trees. So, I wanna show you guys how I take down my hammock. Very simple. It's a little technique I use to uh, basically keep everything off the ground, keep everything organized. So this right here, it's just an overhand knot. Very simple. All I did was take the rope, turn it over on itself, and tie an overhand knot. So this is gonna be how I take it down. It's just a simple overhand knot. And I keep it nice, it actually stays nice and loose because this rope is so thick. All you do is just bend it, and you gotta bend both sides, and then you kind of feed the, the rope through the hole there. So you rip it out just like that. Now it's undone. So once that knot is undone there, I'll grip the hook of the hammock and just pinch it underneath my arm like that. And then unclip the rope. The rope is just wrapped around the tree, nothing fancy. I just take one end of the very end of the rope and I just wrap it up in my hand like that. Simple. So now I'll just take that hook, wrap it around my neck like that so it stays off the ground. The bag, this is a Inu hammock, comes with a little bag attached to it. I just stuff the rope right on the bottom. And then we'll go to the other side and do the same thing. So again, it's just a simple overhand knot and it actually stays pretty loose. I sat in this for a little while and it doesn't really tighten up because the rope is so large. That's it, very easy to untie. Then again, you just pull it off the tree. I take the hook, throw it around my neck the same way. You don't want to wrap it around your neck. <laughs> just throw it the opposite way. So now I got the two hooks on this side and I got the bag on this side here. So I'll take the rope, wrap it up, nothing fancy. Just a little coil there, nothing. Nothing fancy, nothing advanced, just stuffing in the bottom there. So now I got the two ropes on the bottom. The ropes actually are not supposed to go in the bag with it, but I keep it in it so it uh, stays nice and compact and I keep all my material together. So at this point, I'll take it off my neck. I'll just grip it where the bag is and grip the top here, take it off my neck, and I'll stick the hooks into the bag as well. So that goes in first. And then with the rope, uh, goes into the hammock there at the top. I stuff that in the in the bag as well. So now, just pinch the bag. So now what you have left is just all hammock. I'll kind of thin it out and just twirl that sucker up. Kind of like you twirl a towel when you gotta whip somebody. Just twirl it up. And then I take the end where I twirled it up. Find the bag opening. Just stuff it in. That's it. That's it, just like a stuff sack. And it's not always perfect and pretty every time, but this way it's nice and simple, compact. You do it the same way every time. You know how to take it out. You know how to put it back in. You don't lose any rope. That's the key. Stuff the rope in the bottom. And you want to make sure, depending on the hammock that you have, you want to make sure that the rope, uh, I have a cinch strap on the top here, just make sure it's out of the bag before you stuff everything in. Pinch it down, doesn't have to be perfect. Most of the time, I don't even bother with this little clip thing. Unless I'm at home, then I'll make it nice and fancy and do it properly, but when I'm leaving camp, I just say screw it, and leave it just like that, stuff it in my bag, good enough. So, hopefully this is a helpful tip, and I'll see you on the next one. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. You gotta subscribe though, so you can see me on the next one. Yeah!